In this video, I will outline the benefits of using our standard search tool and how you can set this up within the dashboard. Standard search allows you to find things better by letting you adjust how results are shown. You can quickly see related items with autocompletes, customize results pages with extra information, easily search within specific groups of products, and make sure your customers always find something even if the search term is different. Allow your customers to see better suggestions when searching, go to specific pages automatically, and get faster results by ignoring certain words. There are a total of eight branches of standard search. You've got search relevant settings, instant search widgets, the search results page, in collection search, manual synonyms, the suggestion dictionary, redirects, and stop words. Let's delve into how you can leverage these branches effectively. From the dashboard in the Boost Commerce homepage, you're gonna to want to head to the top navigation bar to the search section. In the drop down here, you can see setup. We want to navigate to the standard search here. Standard search is comprised of several different foundational features, and these are to help you manage the search engine of your store. As you can see here from the list, we've got several different features that I will walk you through today in this video. And first up on the list is the relevant settings. Again, we do have a user guide for you to click through and read to look at this in more detail and you can navigate to the analytics of each specific feature at the top here. Relevant settings. This involves defining searchable attributes and providing exact match keywords by adding attribute filters, for example, and mapping catalog fields to your boost fields to identify user intent. So you can decide as a merchant which one is searchable by turning them on and off. So these are searchable fields which are toggleable here. And you can also leverage the priority of the respective fields in the search weight as well. So you can change them from high, medium, low, and to a non-searchable field. So in a quick overview, the searchable fields here help identify attributes that are searched while shoppers type in a query. So as you can see, we've got different searchable fields set up here. We've got the SKU, product type, product options, and these are all set to different search weights depending on preference. This is completely customizable, so you can do this as you see fit for your brand. As well, as you can see, these ones are toggled off, so you just simply toggle them on. So that quickly is relevant settings. Next up, we've got the instant search widget. This tool is set up to significantly enhance the search function on your website by automatically suggesting what the user might be looking for. So it provides instant search results with relevant products, collection pages, and popular suggestions as soon as your customer starts typing. So as you can see, you have control over how this looks as you can choose from three different layout settings. We've got the default, which is two columns. You've got the overlay full width and the one column option here for your search. You can also customize whether you want these to be seen as a list or a grid and whether you want products on the right or left and the number of products per row as well. We also got more advanced display settings here. This section here showcases the content that is displayed in a setup format for several different selections. You've got three different layout versions that you can choose from. You've got the instant search widget with results. So this will show results, the instant search widget without results. And finally, you've got the search box on click, which activates the search box when it is clicked. But heading back to the instant search widgets. So you've got the overview of the content displayed on the instant search widget. You've got the label, the number of displayed results, all of the product information below. You can change the label again. But these are just all examples here for what you can do. In terms of content order, you can also drag and drop and move these to change them around to have the search results come as you see fit here too. Also remember toggle on and it allows specific actions to be live. So enable scope suggestions here. This helps your shoppers simply narrow down their searches on topics they're most interested in, such as specific collections or vendors. So for example, if it was a specific brand they're looking for, yes, yeah, so you, can, you can change this here um, based on the attributes. It's pretty similar for the instant search without results. You can label these 
here. So if you want users to look at other popular search terms within a search, you can label that here and display search terms suggestions based on the store data that you have collected. So as you can see here, if we hover over it, it will tell you what the store data comprises of. You can add search terms manually as well and display most popular products, for example. These can be just an additional element to your search feature to allow the results to show other options for your customers to hopefully help increase conversions and create a better customer experience for them. And then finally, the search box on click. This is pretty much what it says on the tin. When users click on the search box, you can display most recent search results so they can easily access these again, or popular searches to help them navigate bestsellers, almost trending products as well there. Moving on from the instant search widget to the search results page. Our standard search section allows you to have the flexibility as a merchant to personalize how the relevant results are appearing on the search results page. And this includes extra collections, blog posts, or pages that you want to showcase alongside the search results. So as you can see here, you have the search page with results and what you want to display additionally to the actual results that are being displayed. This just really helps to minimize that dreaded no results found search result. So we want to kind of mitigate any chance of that happening and by setting up your own section to display specific products of your choice or collections, this is a great way to just make sure that your search page has results consistently. So you can also display results of blogs or pages within the search results. So it doesn't just have to be products as well. You can also add specific best performing blog posts, for example, and you can also personalize the number of results per page. You can do this again for search page without results. So you can preset a message to say, sorry for the no results, but don't give up, try less specific search terms. And then you can also add your own search tips. And as an alternative, you can obviously offer popular searches or popular items, trending products to again, mitigate the chance of having zero results. Moving on now to the in collection search. This is pretty straightforward and simple. This allows you to let your customers search for products on specific collection pages. So say, for example, if they are searching for a dress, they can search for specific products within this collection of dresses. So it won't show any other results for other product items like jeans or t-shirts. It will simply show on that collection that you have set. Next up, we've got the manual synonyms as well. This is another great feature for your standard search. So our app enables you to manually create a comprehensive library of synonyms. This will help your customers steer clear of that mentioned no results pages and to ensure that they discover relevant products related to them, regardless of the search terms that they have used. So we do have a separate walkthrough video on AI powered synonyms, but you can set these up manually. So you can, if you know, for example, a specific search term that you would consider to be a synonym for, as one example shown here is shirt, tee, top and t-shirt as synonyms for this. You can simply create this yourself. It's as easy as clicking add, typing in the search term here. So if we type in T, and then you can add a list of synonyms, separate them by commas. So you can add t-shirt, t-shirt without the um, punctuation or top or shirt and you can just add these live by selecting here make sure you select the direction so if you want these to kind of if you want t-shirt to show up t make sure that the direction is set here so it's a by direction so it's it's allowing that the synonyms to be equal so you can click save once you've done that but let's head back to the manual synonyms page here as well you can simply edit them and delete them as you like as well, you can search for specific synonyms and sort by uh, most recent or alphabetical, and you can showcase ones that are enabled or disabled here by the filter option. Next up, we've got the suggestion dictionary. It is also important to note before we head to the next section that you can import your own synonyms or exporting them by bulk in a CSV file. This is particularly helpful for creating backups of your synonym library, sharing synonym settings across multiple Shopify stores, making bulk edits to your 
synonym database as well. So you've got the import and export button here just as a reference to remember. So next up, we've got the suggestion dictionary as well. The suggestion dictionary allows you to control the ranking of popular suggestions that are displayed by the autocomplete search function. So it helps you to streamline the autocomplete popular suggestions, increasing the visibility of some of your products lines, should you wish, and displaying them higher in suggestion results. So again, we've got the import export tool, we've got the video tutorials, user guide and analytics for you here, but you can add a suggestion list here and toggle them on and off. So the suggestion could be shirt, dress and sweater here. So as an example, if a customer is typing in dress, you might want to add multiple different options of types of dresses that you have within the dress collection. So maxi dress, mini dress, um, let's think of another backless dress, depending on what you have in your collection, you can manually create different um, suggestions. So let's save these suggestions. You can also add the priority here. They were preset as normal, but you can change that as you want and make sure that the status is on. So you've got different options here um, for suggestions to showcase. Next up, we've got redirects. So redirects is when your customer submits a specific search query and our redirect feature will automatically direct shoppers to a specific landing page, which could be a collection page, it could be an information page, or it could be a third party website. So this can help with your opportunities for cross-selling, upselling, campaign promotions, and again, to avoid the all important no results found scenario. So for example, if you have a specific collection that you want to promote, whether that be a summer line, so bikinis, as an example here, you can add the URL and redirect them to this page. So I'll quickly showcase how to do that. You can add the search term here, and then you just paste the URL and click save. Um, we'll just leave that page because we don't need to save that. Finally, we've got the stop words. So this is a filter that you can add to exclude certain words to ensure a faster and more relevant search results. So as you can see, we've got stop words here listed. You can delete these here. You can search for stop words depending on how many you have. You can import and export them again, or you can simply add them here. So that in a quick overview is the standard search section, all of the different features within standard search as well. If you have any questions regarding anything mentioned in this video or any of the specific standard search features, please don't hesitate to contact our customer support team as they will be more than happy to help. Thank you.